what was the case for change? Okay, so we've been on a great journey at Good Shepherd and we're in the context of a primary school. We are not an we are not a PYAP school and we've chosen not to be a PYAP school, but in saying that we were still investigating what that means for us. And so our case for change is that we've been on a remarkable journey of um, discovering and developing learning principles and a charter for all the three stakeholders in the school. So a charter of our learning principles um, for parents, for teachers and students and holds them accountable to that about um, how we believe children learn. Um, and we had been on this journey learning all sorts of things, but we actually want to develop our very own framework. So a case for change was bringing everything together that we'd been learning about so we could actually envelop it in our beautiful Good Shepherd framework. Not a PYP, not a this school, not a that school, but a very own Good Shepherd framework. So that's been our case for change. So Beck, what were the day hikes? And perhaps in that you'd like to share the mountain yeah. as well. And Sarah might flip her screen around. Yeah, that's as um, bright as it goes. So as a team, we went on day hikes, but also as a whole staff, we've been on day hikes. So as a staff, we've done PDs around what we value as student agency, general capabilities, um, learning progressions. As a team, we've developed a planner as part of a planning suite of documents. Mm -hmm. Um, and that suite also includes a unit review or a planner review that we do at the end and mapping tools. Um, we obviously did the Metapraxis poster project here, which stretched a few of us <laughs> and our thinking and also our skills. <laughs> um, but also we got our staff to do a poster project that um, got our staff to share their understanding of our learning principles and how um, the capabilities are drawn into our learning principles. Uh, Sarah, have there been any challenges? <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I guess the main challenge that we faced is that we've had a kind of a high turnover of staff. I think we shared the other day that there, we, our principal shared there's like 51% of staff change over in the past three years. Um, and I personally joined the school last year. Um, and so for me, it was learning all of this language so that we could have consistency of language for our planning. Um, and understanding what inquiry is, but understanding it in the Good Shepherd framework. And so I think that's one of the challenges that we've had is when new staff come in and have new ideas, how do we make sure that we have a consistency of understanding and a consistency of language across the school? Um, now, Trish, since this is the final year of the project, uh, the project, can you tell us about the journey to the pinnacle? Yes. Um, <laughs> I think with um, the change in a um, lot of new staff, it's, getting, it's bringing the old and the new staff along on the journey and making sure that the planning, because we've changed the way we plan, um, reflects the learners in each stage. And it's also about teaching the language that we have learnt in this project and the synoptic tool and how we can use this as evidence around um, collecting evidence about the acquisitions and capabilities. Jen, what impact has this result of the emergent map? Sorry, turn the wrong. So this is the emergent. Just... Yep. So the emergent map, you can see that we have constantly changed and moved things around where we've moved from the different quadrants constantly. So here with the um, transitory planner, and we've sort of gone between the intrinsic and explicit down here and then back up here and constantly moved. The same with student agency. We started off with a very didactic kind of teaching of staff because they didn't really understand what student agency was. And then we've been allowed to explore, but we've also been able to embed that into our teaching. Um, we've had new staff here where they've begun um, and we, we've been able to move them around too as we've embedded things. Um, what else have we got? Um, the transit planner, the unit evaluation. So we're actually using when we um, um, reflect on our planners, we've actually developed a framework as a result of Michael's um, framework that he showed us some questions around that. And so now staff are learning to use that. So we've tried to embed it, but we're also exploring in that area. So this was, oh Sarah, how do I get the other one up? So this was our past. That's what our past one looked like. Yep. And, yeah, that's it. And then moving from there into there. 
So that's our project. Yeah. I think that I think in the mapping it's been really um, exciting for us yeah. to see that uh, it's very fluid. You know, we're, we're not just staying in one place. We've been able to move across and into each of the quadrants. That's been really exciting. And I think just too, we have been in a space of inquiry um, and conceptual learning for a little while, but to bring um, it into a complete transdisciplinary has um, absolutely changed the way some of our stages of learning now teach. So project-based learning has been a really big part of that change, especially for our stage four team who are year five sixes. So that's been really exciting to see them bring everything from Christian studies and maths and English, um, science, has everything into one, one unit, an entrepreneurial unit or a, a politics unit, whatever their big question is in their conceptual learning, everything is through the transdisciplinary planner. I just wanted to add too that with our eight learning principles, that's a very big part of our planning. So we actually map our learning principles across all our learning areas that are part of that unit of work. So for example, if it's um, health and HASS and Christian studies, we map what our learning principles mean across each of those learning areas within the transdisciplinary unit. So teachers are accountable to what, how they believe students learn and then students are then accountable to those learning principles as well. Um, that's been really exciting. There's been other little moments of joy along the way and lots of moments of um, frustration and challenge as well. Yeah.